This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation, specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e-learning to instructor-led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. Let's take a few minutes to review the phases of the project lifecycle. You'll be using all five of these phases using Microsoft Project, or potentially could. Some people don't go through every single phase using the software, but it's available for all of those phases. So the first phase in the project lifecycle is the initiation of the project. And then we go into the planning of the project. And once you have it planned, then it's time to actually carry it out or execute the project. And during the execution of the project, you'll be monitoring and controlling what's happening within your project. And then the part all of us look forward to, and that's the closing of your project. Now, very important element for you to remember about a project. A project must have a definite beginning and a definite end in order for it to be a project. Otherwise, it might just go in be an ongoing task or something that you do in your work world. So as long as your project has a beginning and an end, it absolutely can be considered a project. So when you get started, make sure that you know exactly what the goals are of your project and that the people who are involved with the project have the same idea as to what the project is because you certainly want to be designing with consistency with those people who are involved so that everyone is on the same page, so to speak. And then when you get into your planning phase, that's going to be the part where project is going to come in so, so convenient for you because project is going to be a planner. It's going to allow you a place to physically put in all the pieces that you need in order to know that your project has been planned. It will come in, hopefully, Remember, you never know what's going to happen out there, but you can always do your best guessing on how you can schedule your project. And then when it's time to actually use the project or execute the project, you can use the software to monitor what's happening and you can identify how much ahead, and hopefully you'll run ahead of project, and or hopefully not, but you might get a little behind on your project. And then project will help you reschedule so you can control what's happening within your project and be on top of that project. And then you can have that big party. Don't forget to create a celebration because at the end of the project, the last phase of the project life cycle is to actually close it out. And folks, truly one of the things you need to plan for is how will you celebrate the closing of that project? Make sure at some point you identify that it's finished and you do something to celebrate, even if it's just to sit in your chair at work and clap your hands or throw them up in the air, something just to say, ah, it's done. So good luck, let's go get started with the actual using the software now that you know how to go through the five phases of the project lifecycle.